Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. We've been at it for 47 days. Today is our day number 48. I do not know how far I will go, but I guess when the time arrives, I would know. Excuse me. The very first word, the very first word we want to learn today is forte. Now, what's the forte? A forte is your strong point. Something that you're good at. Something that you are good at. But I don't need to tell you my forte, you already know it. My forte is to misspell the word. I'm lousy at spelling the words properly, but if you're looking for somebody to misspell the words, I'm your, I'm your man. That is my forte. I excel at, excel at that. Mis, misspelling the words, that is. Something that you, there you go, we we'll just write it down here. Something that you excel at, something that you're good at. Ah, the meaning of the word forte, of course, is, is a loud or strong note. Forte is called in music, which is a strong note or a loud note, forte. What's the antonym of forte? Uh, the antonym of forte would have to be your weak point, something that you stink at, something that you, that you, I was going to say suck, suck at, can I say it? I don't know, something that you suck at, something that you stink at, something that you're lousy at. Uh, well, not necessarily. Well, I'm going too far now. Let's put it here. Yeah, I get carried away. Let's put it here. Foible, I take it back. I take everything back there. Foible doesn't mean any of those. It just means it's a minor weakness. I take, take it all back. Foible. Foible is called, which is your minor weakness. Oh, fault. So I was wrong a little while ago because I turned it into a, turned this meaning of the word in a very strong uh, in a stronger sense, and I was wrong. It's just a small or amusing fault. Since small or um. I'm using Ford. Just now I made it sound like it had to be something very egregious. Oh boy. I knew it was bound to happen and I don't think we have covered the word egregious at all so far. Flagrant. Oh, there's a good word. We have not covered this word. No, we have not. Let's put them on the list here first. And then, we'll put, then I'll put them in my list. Egregious. I don't know how to spell it. It doesn't have to be something egregious, it doesn't have to be something flagrant, it doesn't have to be something uh, conspicuous uh, in terms of your weakness or something that you're bad at. It doesn't have to be any of that. It's, it just means a minor, minor weakness, a minor fault. Egregious means outstandingly bad, horribly bad, terribly bad, which is what flagrant means. Something flagrant is so bad that it's too obvious, it's, it's, it's too conspicuous. Let me put both of these words in our list. 
so that we can cover them properly one of these days. I do not know when, but like I said, one of these one of these days. The word was egregious, which means outstandingly bad, horribly bad, terribly bad, notoriously bad. So what's a foible? It's just a minor flaw, a minor weakness, as opposed to forte, which is your strong point. Both of these terms, foible and forte, both of these terms are borrowed from fencing. I don't know if you know it. Both, both of these terms or words are borrowed from fencing. The weaker part of the blade in, 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 uh, in, the, in the sword, the weaker part of the blade, I need the room. I don't want to keep going down and make it too crowded. So I'm going to erase the top part. We're already done with forte. Forte means strong point, something that you're good at, something that you excel at. It also means loud notes in the music. I need, I'm going to raise this thing so I can, I can make use of the space. The weaker part of the foil or blade from the middle to the tip is called foil. So in fencing, the sword that you're holding is, is comprised of two parts, the top half from the middle to the tip, which is called the foible, which is the weaker point, the weaker area of the sword, and then the bottom half from the middle to the hilt, that's called forte. The strong part is from the middle to the hilt and that's called forte and this that's where the term that's where the uh, these two terms originate from foible and forte so if you remember that part if you remember the fencing part it's very easy to remember the word forte the bottom half of the sword foible the top half of the sword the weaker part if you're interested we can learn this word properly. Held. It may be a very simple. What happens sometimes? Let me tell you what's going. What, what happens sometimes? What happens sometimes is that, and I've said this many a times. So I'm repeating myself. I know. And for those, even the Americans or English speakers who are listening to this the video right now, if you happen to be learning other language, you will understand what I'm talking about. What happens is that, as a non-native speaker of English, not just myself, any anybody who is learning any other language. Uh, so when a uh, non-native speaker, as, as a non-native speaker of English, what happens sometimes is that I may come across a word which may be a completely alien word, something that I have never seen before and therefore it's a difficult word for me, very, very uh, a vocabulary word, but it turns out that for a native it's a very simple word. I have the feeling that help might be one of those, one of the, uh, help might be in that category. I'm not sure, although I doubt a little bit because I have never actually heard I should say never. I never. I, I, there I go again. Never. I do not hear people talking about health. But there's an expression. There's an idiom. Before we learn the idiom, so both of these come from fencing, as, as you see here, right here. They're both derived from fencing. Let's learn about health. What does it mean? Hilt just means the handle of a weapon, handle of a weapon, or 
a tool. You see, I learned that part new. I did not know that it also applies to a tool. The handle of a tool is called a hilt. Handle of a weapon is called a, a hilt. Especially, especially of a sword or a dagger. The handle of a dagger is called the hilt. And the idiom that we want to learn today is, I need the room again one more time, so I'm going to raise the top part now. The weaker part of the, of the sword is called foible, which is from the middle to, to the top, to the tip, which is called foible. The stronger part of the sword is from the middle to the hilt, to the, to the, to the handle, to the, to the very end of it. And that's called forte. Because that's where you're going to have the greater thrust as you, as you lunge towards the other person. Let's learn this word, let's learn this idiom, which is to the hilt. Ever heard of it? To the hilt? It just means to the limit. It just means completely. To the hilt. Will you support me? in my endeavor? Will you support me in my ambition? Would you, would you support me in my adventure? To the health, which means I will support you 100% to the health. I will support you completely. Again, I need the room. So again, one more time, I need to, I need to get rid of it. Health, the handle of a weapon or a tool, especially a sword or a dagger. Will you support me? To which the answer is to the hilt, which means, which means I will support you one hundred percent, completely to the hilt. There you go, we learned an interesting word out of it. That came out of nowhere. Hilt. I was planning to learn foible and forte, but then out comes hilt. That was the end for today. As always, I hope that you found it interesting. I hope that you find it uh, uh, engaging. Don't turn it into a chore, as I always said. Don't turn it into a work. Have fun with it. Learning, our, expanding your vocabulary or learning a language should not be a chore. And these are excellent words, as I've always told you, not only for the sake of learning the words themselves, which is an end in itself, but also if you prepare it for any of these tests, as you already know, otherwise you wouldn't be here. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, uh, I tutor over the internet via Skype, or, and of course face-to-face, -face, in person, go to any of these website addresses and send me an email as to what you need help in. Or you can go to kishwaniprep.com and you can get hold of me from there as well. Alright? Thank you.